five dollars. That's a huge amount of money. Believe it. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for everything. Thank you. God bless Have you. a great night. Have you a good too. weekend. You too. Okay. Bye. Daphne Claude never gave up. In seconds, the earthquake turned her home into a pile of concrete, twisted metal, and dust. Underneath the mass of destruction, she could hear her two-year-old son's cries for help. A mother's love is a force to be reckoned with, and with her bare hands, she began to dig. For 50 hours, Daphne searched as her precious baby's cries grew weaker and weaker. She kept digging, and soon right beside her, a team of rescue workers appeared. Their equipment began to pull away the large slabs of concrete. Working together in the middle of that darkness, they pulled little Regis and Claude out. He was alive. He had blood on his head and wounds on his face. He was cradled in a rescue worker's arms, dazed and his eyes unfocused until he saw his mother. He leaned toward her and she reached for him. For 50 hours, she refused to give up. Now it's our turn to never give up. Please go to helpforhaitynow.org and give what you can. Born in the springtime when blossoms unfold, pastures are green and the meadows are gold. Promise to honor, to love, and obey is each foul plaything that you throw away. Alone and forsaken by fate and by man, oh Lord, if you hear me, please hold my hand, please understand. See? 